everyone. Thanks for joining. This is Gwen Taylor cooking with pumpkin. Here I am again just to show you a small meal, maybe 30 minutes or less. I want you to get up. I know you can do it. I believe in you. So let's get up and cook, okay? So remember to share, remember to like, and remember to subscribe. Thanks for joining me. Now let's get up and cook. Thanks for joining. Welcome back. I'm back again with another meal just to get you started and to get you off of that couch and to get you cooking. I hope you all are still cooking. I'm still wanting, I still want to encourage you to cook. I know some of you are tired of cooking. You say, I'm, I didn't cook up, I didn't cook, 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 but you're still eating, right? You still need to eat. And the restaurants, yes, they're open. They're open, but you have to eat outside. Most of them, my son told me the other day that, Mom, um, uh, our restaurants are open, but everybody's having to eat outside. It's hot, y'all will be eating outside, so why don't you just cook at home? I've given you these simple meals that you can cook for your family and your spouse and your loved ones. And I hope you're encouraged. I hope you're not angry. I hope you're not cooking out of uh, grudgingly and throwing those pans. Don't do it. Don't do it, y'all. Y'all need to cook, okay? You need to cook. So I'm, this is another simple meal I'm trying today. Not trying. I know it's going to be good. And I know you're going to say, oh. She did it. I love it. So here today, we're going to do corn muffins. Now I've showed you how to do corn muffins before. So this time we're doing corn muffins with buttermilk. Yes, one of my friends, they always do that corn muffin with buttermilk. So I'm doing buttermilk today with our corn muffin and adding a little, um, just a granola oil and an egg. And that's it. That's, that's what I'm going to do. It's going to be real simple. Don't, don't beat on me if you don't like Jiffy. Jiffy works every time. You, but it, do you, do you, if you like to do your, your homemade cornbread, do it, do it. But today we're gonna do something real quick. We're gonna do uh, one egg, and then we're going to do, I'm trying a half a cup of oil. A half a cup of oil. You know, I'm measuring. I'm, I'm trying this measuring thing. And I have a cup of buttermilk. So let's see. I'm not going to use all of it. Let's see how that's going to work. You just mix it up. Just mix it up like that. Yeah, just mix it up. I have my oven getting ready. And so I don't think I, I didn't need all of that um, buttermilk. So maybe three cups of buttermilk. You know, but if you don't want, um, if you want it kind of thick, probably don't use the oil. But I like mine kind of soft, you know, moist. So that's why I use the oil. So guess what? I have a camera lady today. My girl came to visit with me and to help me out. And we have another knock at the door today. I can't believe it. Here we go again. Okay, I'm back, y'all. My neighbor came to just check on me. Lynn is here. Angie's here. I have the almost the whole group here with me. <laughs> so, oh, good. Oh, it's so good to just have a supporting team with you. Just to be sure you do things right. But I said um, three cups of um, milk. Three cups, but I mean three fourth cup, like a three fourth cup. So I'm not using the whole cup. So this is this is ready. So just like that, that's a that's a mix. That's a chippy mix. Yes, just like that. Just like that. So I'm gonna put it in the oven. I have my little cups here. Have my little cups. Can you see? Go back a little, and there you go. So I have my little cupcakes. Hold. I guess they're called holders or whatever. So I'm putting it in there. So I think I'm going to try, hopefully I'll make like 12 of them. So I'm going to put them in the oven. And it usually take about 15 to 20 minutes. Think, you know, whatever your oven. It normally um, says 400. So, you know, depending on your oven, if your oven cooks high, you might want to go a little lower. So that's the muffins. They're about to go in the oven just like that. So I know you can do this. 
So you came, you want some cornbread, you want some corn muffin. Here it is. You, you can do it. I believe in you. So here the muffins are going to go in the oven. They're going to go in the oven. So in about 20 minutes, they'll be ready, okay? So we're going to let them do their thing. So today, today we're, we're doing cabbage. So cabbage, of course, cabbage, you can go do all kinds of things with cabbage. So today I'm doing cabbage and I'm adding potatoes. So this is gonna be a one pot meal. But my potatoes, what I'm gonna do with my potatoes, I'm going to kind of boil my potatoes a little. I'm going to get my potatoes ready. And I'm gonna just throw them in this little pan here. Just boil them a little. And I'm going to season them up just a little. I had one of my neighbors, he came and brought me some cabbage, came and brought me some potatoes, and he brought me some carrots. Yeah, he brought me some carrots. But listen, I had to work with these carrots. You know I love carrots, and it's gonna make your pot look so pretty. So I had to grade the carrots, yeah. I had to grade them myself, and y'all, I brought out the, I brought out the grater. I know you're gonna say, I know she didn't use this, but I did. I used my grater. Y'all know anything about that? This is what we used to grate our cheese with, with macaroni and cheese at my mom's. This is the grater. It worked, it still worked. It great, don't, don't judge me. It worked. I know it's different graters out there now, but I looked at my cabinet, use what you got. And it grated my carrots. I had the whole carrots. You know, so I don't want to throw them away. So here, I'm using my grater. Y'all see that? I guess some of you said, what in the world is that? This is called a grater. You can grade. I know it looks kind of rusty, but it still works. This is called antique. I know I've had this grater at least maybe about 35 years, probably older than some of you, but it still works. So I use my grater and I graded up my carrots and I'm going to get my frying pan ready here. And I'm going to add some... Uh, salt. I'm going to add a little bit of onion powder to my potatoes. So I'm going to get those, get kind of get those ready. Onion powder and I'm going to add a little pepper and of course my season oil. You know I love my season oil. So I add just a little to that to get those uh, potatoes ready. The pepper, peppers ready. I'm gonna get those ready. So now I'm getting ready to work on the cabbage, y'all. I'm getting ready to work on the cabbage. And you know, for cabbage, cabbage is such a, it's one of the oldest vegetables that's been out. Cabbage is, um, it's a year round um, vegetable. Cabbage, you can, um, you can do so many different things with it. Now they're baking the cabbage. Now they're baking cabbage and there, um, you can add peas to it. You can add, um, people may add uh, all kinds of different things. They may add pasta. Yeah, they add pasta to it. And of course, I know everybody loves bacon. They normally, you know, they usually fry their bacon and then they make their um, cabbage. But you know, I'm gonna try to be a little healthy. So I'm gonna just use my olive oil. So for my vegan lovers, you, this is a recipe that you can use. You know, some people add, um, they add all kinds of um, vegetables and they may add um, corned beef. They like to eat the cabbage and corned beef. And then some may add, um, oh God, uh, I said peas and I'm gonna add carrots. But yes, I'm going to add bell, for me today, I'm going to add bell peppers, I'm going to add onions, and I'm going to add sausages. This is going to be a one-pot meal. I just have some hillside sausages that I cut up, and that's what I'm going to add to mine today. So, this is how it's going to look. Back up a little. This is how it's going to look, so you can see the, see the pan. So, some people um, make a cabbage soup. They have this cabbage soup diet. You just eat cabbage, cabbage, cabbage. And then, you know, it helps you to, you know, 
but cabbage soup is good. You want to lose some weight? You eat enough cabbage, you lose some weight. Okay. Yeah, I said it. You will lose some weight. So I'm going to use my, be I cut up my bell peppers and my onions already. So I'm going to do my bell peppers and my onions. And then I'm going to get that ready. Bell peppers and onions. And then... You know, my cabbage, I like the, you know, the green. Sometimes they have the green pot, and then sometimes they just have the regular. So I, I like the green, and what I do, I normally cut that first because that's going to take longer to cook. So I'm going to cut, I'm going to go ahead and put that in with my bell peppers and my onions. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to also, I'm going to go ahead and add my sausages. Because, you know, you could cook your sausages first, but, you know, most of the time it don't take a whole lot of time. So I'm going to go ahead and add my sausages. This is going to be a one meal, one pot meal. I'm not doing no more meat with this. Our meat is going to be sausages today, okay? So it's going to be sausages, it's cabbage, it's carrots, and potatoes. So, yep, the, the, my starch. You know, you normally eat the cabbage with rice. But today we're gonna do it with the potatoes. So let's see what my potatoes are doing here. So my potatoes, my potatoes will be ready by the time my cabbage is ready, and I'ma just throw it right, throw it right in this pan with the, with everything else. So yes, that's the sausages, and you know whatever kind of sausage you like, you might want to use your turkey sausage. You know if you don't eat meat. Uh, well, if you don't eat meat, you're probably not going to eat turkey either. But if you don't want to eat um, the pork or the beef sausages, so yeah, just use uh, just just use your turkey. And then there's keto. This is uh, um, one of the keto. Um, on, you know, people that's on the keto diet, they they eat a lot of um, cabbage also, and of course they eat a lot of meat. So they have their keto, their um, cabbage with um, with bacon. Yep, they eat bacon. So you know, I know the keto lovers like like eating the bacon. And then the carrots. I'm gonna go ahead and put my carrots in. And I just did like I think I did two carrots. I just did two carrots. And see all that? I just did two of them. So that's getting that ready. And this is gonna be another simple meal. So I have the carrots in there and I have the green onion. I have, I have the green cabbage. I have the sausages. I have the bell pepper and the onions. And I'm going to add some garlic. But I add the garlic more to the, um, to the cabbage. So I have, so I, what I did, I kind of cut up. This is like three small cabbage. I guess you said that's a lot of cabbage, but you know, cabbage shrink. They just shrink so much. But I need to share it. Since he gave me a cabbage, I said I'm going to share it with my neighbors. So I'm going to do some cabbage for them and sausages. And that is going to be just like that. And you're going to say, yes, that's going to be a stomach full. Yes, of course, here's my apron. I have my white one on today. Thank you all. I'm, you know, people are always calling me, so yeah, I want an apron. And thank you for helping me. I've learned something from you, and I appreciate you. And thanks. I'm still selling my aprons. They're $22, and I appreciate all the support from you. Yesterday, late, I got a text from one of our um, viewers, and he said, I just wanted to sew into your ministry. You're, well, he, this is a ministry because I started out just encouraging and helping. He said, I just wanted to sew into you to bless you. Didn't even mention the apron or anything like that. So I thank you all so much for your support. And of course, you need to like. Of course, you need to <laughs> share and you need to subscribe. I, I, I almost, so halfway through, I did remember. So Kendall would get me, he said, you know, he always tells me what I need to do, but he's not here. So here it is. So this is our cabbage. This is our sausages. This is our onion. And this is our 
carrots, sausages, and some more um, cabbages. So it's so good to have my girls here with me. They all quiet, just looking, not saying nothing. Like, I'm just shocked because <laughs> what you're doing would have taken me 30 minutes or an hour. <laughs> Even the corn muffins, I would have still been working on corn muffins. <laughs> but see, you can do it. You can do it. And you know what? When you're doing stuff in the spirit of love, the time just goes by and you don't even realize, you know, but you got to love it. I know you know everybody don't like cooking like me. I started cooking probably when I was about 11 or 12. Every day I was cooking. I would cook when my mom came home. Her dinner was ready. Now, some things she didn't trust me with, and she would say, wait until I get home so I can cook that. But I, I enjoy cooking, and I'm, I'm just so honored to be able to share, share it with you. And, of course, I know I'm not the best cook. I'm just here to help you. I'm just here to encourage you. I'm just here to get you motivated to cook. And, yes, it's been 20 weeks later, and we're still cooking. We're still eating. The virus is still out there. So I don't think it's safe. They get to be going to the restaurants. I know we're ordering food and everything, but um, it's still not really safe. Yeah, because people don't have manners. They no, cough they and don't. They, sneezing. They, yes, you have to be so careful. And you know what? People are sneezing now, and people not even saying God bless you no more. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was like, if I sneeze, please say God bless me. Come back over. Come back over. <laughs> I, oh, I just, I just have a... Mm. They not even say God bless you. They just they're running away if somebody sneezes or um cough. Not. We all are just in an uproar. So I'm putting some cabbage in and I'm putting some seasonal and some pepper. That's the pepper. And I'm going to use some garlic powder. I'm going to use some garlic powder. Yeah, they got me using garlic now, y'all. Well, you never used garlic powder before when you cook? Uh, just a little. I never did. I guess because I always use so much, so I never did use a whole lot of it. I love the taste, but it would always kind of sit. Mm. I guess I, it was too much, so I never would use a whole lot of it. But, um, you know, so I like the flavor. So I'm going to use, I'm going to put like maybe two tablespoons of butter in there. Cause I don't have bacon. I don't have bacon. I guess you said, but you're using butter, but but I'm not using margarine. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna use a little butter, butter, butter. Yes, I am. Okay. <laughs> butter makes everything taste better. Yes, butter, butter, butter. Yes. So um, now you do your bacon. I know some of you said, oh, I got to have bacon. They can't believe I'm doing cabbage without bacon. But no, I'm not. And I've done it before. I do it all the time. Listen, bacon. Bacon has gotten outrageous. Yes, it is. You get a pound of bacon, you have to pay six to seven dollars. Yeah. So what what's going on with the pig? <laughs> <laughs> what? How all of a sudden the pig is costing seven and eight dollars? You know we could get get bacon for three, three like three dollars, two dollars a pound. And now the bacon is sky high. I'm like, well, 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 well I'm trying to figure out what happened. What ha anybody know what Must happened? Maybe it's a shortage of the pigs because of Corona. I don't oh, know. Oh, golly! I'm like, mm. they, they're trying to not let us eat no bacon. Yeah, it is you high. know because it's it's just ridiculous. And my husband, he love bacon. Me too, Gwen. Oh, most people. Mm. We have a good relationship. Yes. <laughs> that bacon. Mm, that bacon. Mm. <laughs> I'm like, you know, so he got to a point where he was buying it because he saw I wasn't buying it. But I was like, I couldn't figure out what, why bacon costs so much. The, the, the price just went sky high. Just sky high. Sky high. So, so that's, that's doing this thing. It smells delicious. Yes, it's the cabbage. It's going to be one pot. Everything is going to be in this pan. And it almost looked like this pan is <laughs> too... But, but it's going to shrink. It's going to shrink, shrink, shrink. It's Even though it looks like a whole lot. But this is, so this is the cabbage, mm -hmm. the sausages, the um, carrots, the bell pepper, and the onions. Oh, it's coming together. 
And guess what, y'all? This is all we eat in a day. This is going to be it. I'm not, I'm not even cooking no rice. Can you believe it? But, but because I have the potatoes, I decided, you know, not, I'm not going to do the rice today. So this is going to be a one, a one pan dish again. And so this is something that you can do, you know, and you don't have to wait until, um, you know, Sunday. This could be, this is a quick pot. You know, sometimes it takes a little preparation and cutting up your vegetables. And I think, I guess I need to show you how to cut up a cabbage. I was just about to say that, Gwen. Ooh. For people like myself, <laughs> I struggle with cutting up cabbage. You know, it's just... So maybe the next time you fix it, just kind of show us how to... Uh, I will do that, and it's so easy. You know, because some people, when I grew up, my mom did just a little salt, not a whole lot. Uh, my mom, she kind of had the big hunks. You know, mm -hmm. sometimes you see some people have the big hunks, but I, I kind of like it now. We got a lady, Miss Y. Yes, Lord. She do the best cabbage. And she had them all cut up so pretty. She know I, I'm a shout out to Miss Y. Yes, yes, She is my yes. cabbage and my collard greens cooker. Mm -hmm. Now, when if I get an order for cabbage and collard greens, I say, okay. I know I'm going to call Miss Y. <laughs> Miss Y cuts them fine. Mm -hmm. and They're so pretty. And her, see, my cuts are all kinds of different cuts. But I like them kind of like a, 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 I don't know. But um, it's easy. It's easy to, to cut up and um, prepare. Oh, it's looking good in the neighborhood. Looks like all of it is going to fit in the pan. I have just a few more pieces to add. And that's going to be it. So you can simmer. You can simmer your um, your cabbage. You know, simmer it. And um, when what temperature do you have your your um pan your eye on? Um, it's on a medium high. Medium high. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's on medium high. And let's see how these muffins. Muffins almost ready. I'm gonna turn that on. And it's, so it's been, I guess it's been 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. I had it on 375. Some ethnic. And so the muffins are almost, ooh, that's, that's okay. too much. It, it, you think that's too much? Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> the more the merrier. Mm -hmm. Let me do a little bit more garlic and a little bit more butter. So I'm going to do two more sticks of butter and let it. Let it go. Let's see about these muffins here. Oh, they're ready. Just like that. Just like that. So I like to put um, a little butter on the top of my muffins. So I'm going to add a little butter. Well, this is, this is margarine now. This is the margarine. This is imitation. It's not the real butter, it's margarine. But butter is better for you. But of course, you're gonna use a little margarine on the muffin. And these are buttermilk cornbread. So maybe one day we will do a homemade cornbread, just, just for the people that think that the Jiffy is not real, you didn't make it. Did if you I crack it? an egg in it, it, I made it. You made it. You use your oven? I you made, made it. it. <laughs> Please don't ask me if it's homemade. Yes, yeah, homemade. <laughs> right, Aren't you you made home? right. Hello. 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 <laughs> you talking about if you don't make the make your cornbread um, from scratch, you didn't make it. Come on now. <laughs> that, that's not right. Oh, look who's here. Hey, Mr. Taylor. Can hey, you boy. tell everybody <laughs> hi? Hello, everybody. <laughs> He's coming for a little snack, y'all. He just loves snack. But Jimmy, he cooks. He's, he don't gain no weight, but he eats. He eats that junk food and he bacon. Good food. Good and food. bacon. He loves bacon. I like it too, Jimmy. I like it too. <laughs> oh, oh, the cabbage is ready. Let's see how is it ready? Up. Yep. Just like that. Wow. Oh, my God. Oh, oh I feel it in my mm. <laughs> It's gonna be, I know it's gonna be good. Taters, taters are ready. Yep, taters are ready. So I'm going to add the potatoes. 
See how that looks, Angie? Mm-hmm. I'd have still been cooking, Gwen. <laughs> Just as 30 minutes or less. So you can't say that I've been in the kitchen all day and I'm tired. So what I'm going to do, I usually strain it, but I'm going to just put the potatoes in there. And it's going to be there. So I hope I've encouraged you to do something with your cabbage today. That you're not mad that he still wants you to cook. And you still need to eat. And most of you are still at home. So here we go. The cabbage, the potatoes, the sausage, the carrots, one pot meal. So, you know, if you want to add your hot sauce to that, you can. So that's it. I didn't get a plate, so Lynn, you got to come and get a plate. <laughs> Come and get a plate, Lynn, for me. Where are the plates? Right here in this cabinet, right here behind me. She going all the way around in the dining room. I'm making a mess. Uh oh. We still in the frame? Huh? We good? Yeah. Go back a little. This is the cabinet. Get the clear one up there. She's trying not to get on the camera, y'all. <laughs> That's my girlfriend. She lived right behind me. Right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the sausage. Just like that. Oh, God. Thank you. He did it again. He did it again. I must say, it looks good. It looks good in the neighborhood. It smells, smells awesome. <laughs> yes. I think they're ready to eat you Awesome. Oh, God, this is it. This is it. So, I'm going to plate it up. No rice. No rice today. Sausages. Sausages and carrot, cabbage, potatoes. And put a couple muffins on it, and just like that. Oh, God, we thank you for another day. Yeah. We thank you for what you have provided for us. Cabbage, carrots, corn muffins, sausages, and cabbage. Potatoes, did I mention potatoes? God, you've been good. You've been good. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. So here I go. Y'all want me to taste? I have tasters today. <laughs> you go ahead. You want to taste it, Angie? Yeah. Mm -mm. So Angie's saying yes. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let Angie taste this one. Let me bring the camera. And come on. Angie's going to taste it. Yes. Let's see how she's going to do. Would you want some hot sauce? Nope. Mm-mm. Okay. Angie's trying it today. Need some more salt? Mm-mm. 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 <laughs> oh, God. Mm. I feel it in my spirit. Yes. Mm. Just like that. And no bacon. No wow. bacon. No bacon. And I love bacon. This is delicious. Wonderful. Oh, wow. Lynn, you better come get some stuff. <laughs> Lynn? The camera's off. Oh. <laughs> well, we did it again, y'all. That, so that is it. 30 minutes or less. Oh, my gosh. 30 minutes or less. Thanks for joining. Here we are again. I'm encouraging you to get up and cook. You can do it. I know you can. You can do it. So be encouraged. Get up and cook. You enjoy it. And whoever else is eating will enjoy it too. Because they know that you cooked from the heart. They know you cook from love. I believe in you. I believe in you. So get up and cook. Thanks for joining me. And let me know if you want an apron, okay? Remember to subscribe, subscribe to my YouTube channel. So I'm everywhere now. 
So thanks be to God. He gave us another day. Thanks for joining. I love y'all. And until we meet again, may God be with you. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Cooking with Pumpkin. Remember to like, remember to share, and remember to subscribe. I'll see you next week.